Sir, I just wanted to take a second and say thank you very much for everything that you've taught me. Would you please explain to anybody who's interested what your senior rigging course is all about? Yes, please? I'd be glad to. Uh, first of all, introduction, my name is Tom Dolphin. Uh, 34 years in the sport. I've been a uh, master parachute rigger for 25 years. Uh, designated parachute rigger examiner for the Kansas City Flight Service uh, District Office. Uh, also, uh, full service loft, we do everything up to including drop testing and uh, major repairs and alterations of parachute equipment. Uh, some years ago, in fact, initially when I first got my rating, uh, I, uh, I went to Dave DeWolf's course, a great course, a very good friend of mine. And uh, after that, when I became a master rigger, um, I worked at Dave's course up until uh, 1992. Uh, since that time, uh, talking with Dave, uh, I've, I've uh, held an annual course here at my location, and I try to parallel that date-wise and staff-wise with, uh, with the people that uh, Dave uses. So we're, what we're trying to do is uh, offer an opportunity for people all the way across the United States to have a location that's reasonably close to uh, att attend a uh, senior parachute workers course, uh, which has basically an agreed upon standard of training and processes that we go through. Um, to let you know in detail, there's several ways to do this. Uh, the, the old school way of doing it was to find a rigger who would allow you to come to his loft and do work on projects and stuff with him to acquire enough skills and, and knowledge to eventually get a sign off uh, to be uh, able to take your written test and to test out for your certificate. Uh, that is becoming more difficult and also too there, there are some holes in, in that process uh, simply because a lot of the the new more refined projects that could possibly come along if it didn't happen to occur during that year of training or working with that individual it was something that uh, you would be uh, not knowledgeable of or wouldn't have the, the specific skills or, 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 or uh, equipment stuff necessary to perform the service so what Dave and I have tried to do is uh, we tried to concentrate it. It's a nine-day course. We start on a Saturday and ends a week later on the following Sunday, nine days. Uh, it's very, very intense. We start at 8 o'clock in the morning. A lot of people will be working up to 10 o'clock at night. Uh, you will do 20 pack jobs uh, to return to service quality uh, of, a, uh, an, of an approved parachute uh, to get your uh, logbook signed off for your 8610-2. Uh, also, too, uh, we go through many other uh, facets. We do sewing number one, sewing number two, sewing number three. People go, I hear this all the time, I'm not sure about the sewing machine. It's a piece of equipment like anything else. Our responsibility is to teach you how to inspect it, how to do minor maintenance on the equipment, and how to operate it safely. Sewing one is uh, basically introduces you to control of the machine, some basic stuff. Sewing two, or at least sewing some uh, patterns and stuff in the material, showing you how to set the needle, stop the needle, stop, back stitch, turn 90 degree corners. And then sewing three, we do a six by six return to service patch on a piece of material, which is one of the requ uh, requirements of the test program. During that, also, we're going to do automatic openers. We're going to do uh, uh, line installation, finger trapping, calculating shrinkage. We're going to do snaps, fasteners, and grommets. Um, I have half a section one day uh, in the uh, classroom about uh, airworthiness, directives on equipment and service bulletins, rigors, responsibilities, and paperwork. Uh, so it's quite an involved process. Uh, I don't tell anybody it's easy, but I will say this, uh, when you test out and you're finished, uh, you have the skills and the knowledge that you would need to go out and provide a, 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 a good service to your customers as a senior person rigger. If you choose to attend my course, if you would contact me, you can do so by phoning me here at the Drop Zone, Missouri Valley Skydivers, or of course you can email me, uh, it's the same email address, uh, to prepare, and I get a lot of questions about this, people go, what I got to do? Well, we're going to do the bulk of what you need to know and you, the skills you need to acquire at the course, but to prepare yourself for the course, uh, if you contact me, I'll send you the information that I need back from you. I ask questions about your prior skydiving experiences, equipment you use, stuff like that. It kind of gives me a, a basis of knowledge that I can start to work with you from. And the biggest, most important thing that you need to, to, to really prep on and work on is the test questions for the written. Very, very important. I cannot do the final examination or the practical oral examination until you pass that written test. We do take you from here to a test center during the course to, to take that. So what we're trying to do is if you if you are trained and prepared for the written prior to getting here, we can take that and test out and you can walk out of here nine days later with a seal symbol issued 
certificate ready to do business. All you have to do is contact Paragear or some other company and buy yourself a seal press with the seal numbers. If you contact me, let me know and pay your deposit that you're interested in attending the course. I will forward you either on a uh, file or a CD or DVD, whichever you want it, all the basic test information, all the questions and answers that we have currently, and it will give you uh, all the, the initial knowledge that you need to start going through the process of reading the information, understanding the questions and the responsibilities to prepare yourself for the course. To give you some more information to answer some of the questions, uh, I always get contacted and say, where do I stay? Well, uh, here at the DZ we have bunk houses, we have showers, we have laundry rooms, bring yourself a sleeping bag, uh, and we always have a dedicated area just for people who attend the course. It's a, kind of a getaway place where you can go, it's a little quiet, study, you know, uh, sort out any issues you might have with the process you're working on. And so you can come here literally and uh, stay the entire time. There's no reason to leave. We do uh, staff-wise and, and, and uh, the fellows working the course, we organize food runs on a daily basis. So if you want a quick sandwich or you want pizza or something like that, we're running back and forth to town and stuff, we'll get that, take care of that for you. The other thing I want to talk to you too, a lot of people go, when is this, where is it? Well, the dates change slightly from year to year uh, between David and myself and the PIA symposium, stuff like that. So I will make this statement. Generally, uh, it's the first full week of January after the uh, uh, New Year's uh, celebrations, New Year's Day, uh, but that can change again, as I said, according to PIA. Uh, if you would, again, check with me, check the website and stuff, and get the current day. Hey guys, this is Crash and Chill. They went through the course. I wanted to catch a little bit of what they had to say. Two videos, and I don't know which two is him. Yeah. 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 That's Doris. She's checking on everything. Uh, Tom's Riggers course, uh, Airworks uh, Senior Riggers course, outstanding, cannot get better instruction, um, best 10 days of hell I ever spent, um, <laughs> probably probably some of the best money I ever spent. I think uh, I think if you have the chance to do it, you should absolutely take the opportunity. Uh, I kind of agree with Chill. What I would add is, what I really like about the course is, it's hell, as Jill mentioned, but it, since it's crammed into 10 days, it allows people who don't have a lot of time to devote to this to block out a chunk and they can get your ticket there. You learn so much about gear that you never thought you, you would need to know and that is very beneficial. And I've come back three years in a row now and helped out. And every year I've come back, I've learned more from other people that come in and help out and from Tom and different things that he said. So yeah, I highly recommend it. Um, this will be just a senior riggers course. We'll do master riggers training as well, which I'm hoping to take next year. Uh, like Jill said too about the 10 days of hell, I found that's very beneficial because as most of us riggers here now are gonna have full-time jobs. So every time you're gonna be packing a reserve, it's gonna be late at night and you're gonna be dead tired. Just like the course, you're already practiced and ready to do a good job at it. <laughs> that's it. How many jumps did you have when you used to? Not 800 jumps. Yeah, well, I I got the I got my ticket right after getting off student status, and uh, it, I'd recommend that for anybody, no matter what level you're at in the progression. Uh, you'll know more about gear than most everybody around you. Do it. The more you know, the safer you are. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.